after dissing the veteran Falksman in my last video, we need to talk about the real man in the house. The Falksman. The Batanian Falksman is a tier 4 shock trooper of Batania, and it's one of the honorable tier 4 units I'd like to cover. Contrary from his bigger brother, the Falksman doesn't aim at taking down cavalry, but instead invests his equipment into being a specialist against infantry. The Falksman also happens to be the only shock trooper who uses a two-handed sword as a main weapon. The first thing to say when considering the equipment is the lack of throwables on this unit. This is the first Batanian unit that we cover that doesn't come with projectiles. So if your army requires throwables, you might just want to upgrade instead. The main weapon of the Falksman is the Falx. This weapon has a ludicrous speed of 102, making it one of the fastest swingers in Calradia. The swing damage is 126 very high especially when we consider the speed this thing can swing at. the length is neither too short nor too long at 111 it's decent enough in pretty much all situations the falksman will encounter and did i mention it deals additional damage to shields this thing is as good as an axe with the only downside being the lack of a cleave effect talking about the armor the falksman has 37 body armor split between the right scale armor and the tartan shoulder harness or the shoulder harness enough to make the falksman rank fourth in body rankings across shock troops at this point we know the batanian have a common problem when it comes to helmets and the Falksman is not different. With an average value of 37.3, brought by the Rich Elm and the Cap with 4 Coif, this will be enough to place the Falksman in last place at 6th in the Air Armor rankings, but missing 5th place just by 1 point. When it comes to the combined value of Head Plus Body, the Falksman ranks tied last with a value of 74, a falls to last place to number 6th when we consider all armor types. These rankings are not much of a surprise, at the end of the day the Falksman is one tier lower than all the other guys. Now that we are done with the equipment, let's get down to the stats. But first, if you have found the information in this video useful, consider liking the video or subscribing. It doesn't just help the video out, but also keeps me motivated in making more. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing the time and effort I put into the testings and videos get appreciated. When considering all tests, the Falksman ranked in first place with a KD of 4.56. Ended up losing 699 units out of 3500 or roughly 20%, placing them in second place. And ended up with uh, a casualty chance versus low tiers of 10.5%, placing them fourth. Ended up with a KD versus low of 14.29, placing them fifth. And ended the careers of 3,184 custom battle soldiers. If you watch the veteran Falksman video, you would know that these guys perform very well against cavalry too. I ran some 300 versus 300 tests for both the tier 4 Falksman and the tier 5 Falksman, and the tier 4 Falksman average six times better efficiency than the veterans. All of these out of the way, we can imagine this unit is very good for the cost in comparison to its bigger bro. But how good really? Well, let's list the pros and cons. This unit can achieve better results against all kinds of troops than its tier 5 counterpart. Lacks throwables, so versatility wise it's very one dimensional. Weapon is a beast under all aspects. Shield breaker bonus. Armor is far from great. Doesn't perform very well against high tiers. Worth the denars and they are better than a tier 5. Considering this unit is a tier 4 and can punk you way above its weight, my score is at 4.5 out of 5. If only they had some sort of troubles, it would have been a 5 out of 5. You came so close, little Falksman. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and what troop you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.